I decided to play every Call of Duty game I own. I've already done so many Call of Duty videos already, but this time I decided to play every World War II Call of Duty game I own. <laughs> and of course for today's video we are playing May I tell you what I think happened? Alrighty then! That's right everybody, we are going back to Call of Duty 3 for today's video. And I bet most of you have never played Call of Duty 3 before, so obviously for today's video we will be playing the campaign. And surprisingly, I actually found a match on multiplayer in 2024. I know, what an absolute shocker. But it's so crazy to me as well because this was the only Call of Duty game that was never released on PC. So a lot of people were only able to play on console, even though a lot of people did play on console back in the day, so I can only say a lot about that. But besides that everybody, I'll show Shut up and let's get into the video. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at that fucking logo. Oh, game experience may change during online play. Holy crap, that's the old Activision logo if I've ever seen that before. Holy shit, we got the intro of Call of Duty 3. I mean, it's not like they really do that anymore. Ah, Call of Duty 3. Yes, I'm gonna press start. What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan, and thank you so much for clicking on this video for today. And for today's video, like what I did on my last video, I played Call of Duty 2, and this time I am playing Call of Duty 3. What well, duh. Which is one of my more favorite Call of Duty World War 2 games. And man, the whole campaign was actually really really fun to play because I remember playing it back on the original Xbox that when I had it when I was younger. The experience on that was really good. Even the multiplayer as well. Somehow I was able to still play multiplayer even though I was liking like a little bitch back then on the American servers. And yeah, multiplayer was playable somehow, I don't know how, but yeah. It's more funny as well because this is the other COD game that I could play it on veteran difficulty as well, all the way back in 2020. Fucking you, bloody you, bloody you. So yeah, that was an interesting time back then. For today's video, I'm going to see if we can find a multiplayer match. If not, I'll just go straight to single player and see how that is in 2024. But besides that, everybody, make sure you like the video, subscribe as well, and also share this video if you want to. Besides that, I'll shut up. Let's continue off with there. Whatever. Well, yeah, basically what I'm going to do. <laughs> Swear to God, if I can find a match in 2024, that would be absolutely amazing. There's no way. Come on, man. There's no way that there's a bloody Xbox Live match in 2020. Four? Excuse me? You are shitting me! You can find a match in 2024? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. What the hell? I wasn't expecting to find a match like this. What the actual fuck? Yeah, I mean, if you want to play COD 3 in 2024, it's playable. Holy shit, this looks so outdated right now. <laughs> oh, okay. The thing was that I didn't really play COD 3's multiplayer because like what I said on all my other older videos that I did on Call of Duty, I didn't have Xbox Live when I was younger. I didn't even know multiplayer was a thing properly. So it's a different time back then. But hey, if you have played the multiplayer, let me know down in the comments down below. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go on to campaign. So, I mean, it is playable, but yeah, I just can't be bothered. How the hell do you say that word? Holy shit. Uh, you can definitely tell the different developers when they make their game. Because this was made by Treyarch, and I think they only had like eight months or something to make this game because they released Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 or whatever it was. Yeah, you were absolutely correct, Jonathan. I mean, developers now <laughs> make their games in a certain amount of time. Go on, buddy. Fall with that fucking thing, Huxley. <laughs> Ow, that was loud. Ah, it just feels crazy, man, looking at all these games now. Time has changed, man. You know what? This game still holds up pretty well. This came out in 2006, I think. You know, I have no idea. And, mate, was this the only COD game that never got a PC release? How to nail the setting of World War II in its one single scene. You ready? Oh, man. I love that smell. Smells like home. Hey, wait up! Oh, no. Bulu. Slow down. Come on. <laughs> Come on, boys. Oh my god, what the fuck? That? Oh, hey guys. Thanks, man. I really do appreciate your time helping me on the floor like a... With no... Oh god, he's dead. Oh no shit, look over there, man. Man, have missed the good old days when Call of Duty used to be so intense on the first mission. Move up one time, do it. Like a hell flight bodies, man. Is this World War II? Oh, hang on, it is. Yeah, fucking dumb, Oh yeah, there's no sprinting in, uh, campaign. Doesn't matter how many times I played this mission. Good 
Damn, I love this game. It was really like that when I was younger, man. I really enjoyed all the old CODs. There was never a COD game that I disliked. Well, besides, it was Call of Duty Ghosts. It just seems now, the older I got, and I just don't really give it two shites. I mean, we got BO6 around the corner, and I don't really feel like anything, really. I'm just going, yeah, sick, we got a new COD. Am I excited for BO6? Yeah. But it's just because now of having the adult life and everything, I just don't really got really the same feeling like I did when I was younger. Especially when waking up at bloody Christmas morning and getting a copy of Call of Duty was, oh my god, that would never be beaten. I miss the days, man. I'd like to say to all of you as well, have you played Call of Duty 3 before? If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, anybody? <laughs> Beautiful. Anybody want to go here? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's definitely censored. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, damn, they will never make games like this anymore. Ah, da, da, ba, ba. Okay, let's do it. <gasps> oh, shit, there. I forgot they had this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can hear the controller. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Come here, you fucker. Ow! Man, this is when they did quick time events back in the day. Hey, you gotta remember this was back when Call of Duty was sort of new. Mind you, fucker. Come on. Ready? <laughs> nice gun. Fuck the gun. Yeah. Take that, you dick. That oh, face dog. Man, you look fucked up. Let's do it. Oh, hang on. Aha. You gotta get absolutely fucked up now, buddy. See that over there with the... Yeah. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna say. Do I think this is the easiest campaign to play on veteran? Absolutely not. I did say that Call of Duty 2 was hard. This was even harder. I think I lost my absolute shite back then. And this was going back almost four years... Yeah, four years ago, yeah. Is that a fucking tear? <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Go, Rosie. <laughs> Never mind. I remember when the soldiers used to have the green, yellow, or red on their name, depending on how injured they are. Ah, oh, man, I miss those good old days. Anyway, let's keep going. How do you mean? Oh, yeah, hold my gun while on the floor like that. That's completely fine. How do you say that? Cafe Des 5 Louis? Yeah, I think I booked that name, did I? That's it. I'm falling back. Frank. Frank, put the gun down. <laughs> Go, Frank, do it. You're not crazy enough to shoot me. Desertion's a capital offense, Guzzo. Shooting you won't be crazy. It'll be the sanest thing I've ever done. Frank, come on now. Guys, we got ourselves a tunnel here. Our lucky day. It's okay. Welcome to a freaking uh, tunnel of some shit. The Germans. Holy shit, the bloody screen shakes every time they show. Feels like you're actually in war. Not really, but hell, shut up. Go off, man. Oh, the MP40. Oh, man, I love the reloading effect. Ah, <laughs> oh, the M1, Garand, or Garand, wherever that- You know, I don't know how to fucking say it anymore. I always wonder, how the fuck did people survive back then? Because the other night, I was watching Save It Private Ryan, even though that's a movie, but they do picture, like, one of the most realistic World War II movies out there. And I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck did people survive, man? I felt so for so many people that were killed during the time. Which is why I did say on my Call of Duty 2 video, I always respect the veterans. My family served in World War II, so I will always respect them every time. And yeah, 2024. I'm playing fucking Call of Duty. <laughs> I wonder how they feel right now, like, just seeing me play this. Going, what the heck, John? What the fuck are you doing with your life? I say the same thing, you know? Oh, ooh la la. Oh, look at that. You think this is the end of the mission? <laughs> you were mistaken there, boy. Thank no fucking way, bro. At least when you play on, like, a different difficulty, you can actually just run around and do what you want. Like, when I was playing on Veteran, oh my god, mate, I think I lost my ship. <laughs> That's the easiest way, just to camp here. Hang on, they're retreating. Hold up. Can I hold, what's going on? Oh, it actually worked. Wow, we did it. I'm holding a freaking MP40. <laughs> I do have to give credit to the team that were working on the campaign because god damn you guys did a really good job. Then you released World at War and that was an absolute masterpiece. Why does this look so much more better on my OBS than my actual monitor? What the hell? The island. 1944. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, the bar. You know what the bar stands for? The best assault rifle. <laughs> How the fuck did we do? What are we just, Hang on, what? Oh my god, these iron sights absolutely suck. Damn it, only 20 bullets? This is some bullshit. It's like you're gonna shoot like one at a time, be like, donk, donk, donk. Oh, they shoot those people. Oh my god, they're dying. Probably most people are gonna be wondering, why the heck am I playing COD 3 in 2024? Well, I mean, some people have never played Call of Duty 3 before, which I don't know how you're supposed to call yourself an OG player. <laughs> Oh my god. Every time that I record a video, next man, they go, John, can you help us out with the fun at the moment? Okay. So anyway, we're back. Oh no, shit, that took a bit, did it? <laughs> yeah, it took about half an hour. <laughs> Rule number one of ever, well, recording a video is that get everything planned before you decide to start recording because sometimes it doesn't really go to plan. That makes any sense. Can I go down the thing? Holy shit. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. 
Oh, crazy as well how the year after this game came out, we had Call of Duty 4. See how insane that is? Everybody got sick and tired of the, well, the setting then. If Andy Ward came out in the corner and was like, Modern Warfare. And I mean, look at COD now. Holy shit, dude. Wait to a white inside building. Hello? Wait, oh, gonna come out here. Definitely overkill at its finest right there, boy. As you can clearly tell, I can't aim for shit. <laughs> that works. Oh. That worked. I swear this room used to be much more darker when I was younger. Oh, I could have been because I didn't really know what the heck I was doing with the settings back then. You know what? Good enough for me. Okay, I gotta think about what I want to do. So, uh, you know what? This is good this way. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> man, it's satisfying getting kills, man. <laughs> I can't aim for shit. When you aim in, motion blur turns on. Next minute, everything just goes to absolute shit. So wet. What the? What the fuck? They want a grenade. Well, yeah. Oh, now it did. Wait, do one. Bye bye. Have a good one. No, stop. Miss, are you kidding me? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, that was loud. Yeah, we did. Oh my god, grenade. Oh, this one was such a pain in the ass on veteran. Yeah, cause I remember I had to go around here and try and sneakily go past without getting killed. I think I lost my absolute marbles playing this, by the way. I'm gonna go around this corner and think about what I'm gonna do. Hey. And just like Call of Duty 2, the checkpoints in this game were absolute crap. <laughs> you weren't even able to go to a certain checkpoint until you did like half of the bloody mission. I found it absolute bullshit. You had to go all the way up here so you can get the checkpoint. And it was like, the amount of times I got killed and you had to go all the way back to the spawn over there. Like, I was about to go, nah, see you later. Run for cover. Oh my god, it's a tank. Go, go, you bitch. Go, 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 go. Oh. No, damn it. We need support here. Say again. We need support. Oh my god! I wonder what the voice actors were doing when they were making this. Okay, we got a tank! We're gonna survive now, bitches! <laughs> this game makes no sense anymore. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no shit! Okay. Oh my god! Oh. That was absolute shit, eh? Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Aiming up, go down, go back down. <laughs> There's just fucking tanks everywhere. Fucking hell, Murph. This is shit! I can't aim on this weapon properly. MP40. Oh my god, oh shit, oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Good night. Don't, don't go there. Wow, and Call of Duty actually had physics. Hello. Oh my god. Hey, the grenade, will ya? I'm gonna go in here and kill everybody in my fucking path, bro. Oh my god, that guy got fucked up. Yep, and whack a ball. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! I did it because I believed in myself! And yes, I did crack my finger. Man, look at this. Man, look at these bloody soldiers going to be out doing what they can. Man, what a time to be alive. Well, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. And just like that, Call of Duty 3 is over and done with. So, yeah, going back to the campaign was actually really fun to play. Like, I do miss going back to the older games because they just bring back so much nostalgia for me. And overall, they're just fun to play. And as well, if you're looking into playing multiplayer, it is possible to find a match in 2024. Even though I just didn't really want to play it because I was like, yeah, nah, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> well, besides that, everybody, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. Thank you so much watching and also if you guys want to check out my other Call of Duty videos that are on my channel right now. But besides that everybody, I'll see you guys on my next video. Oh the British!